Hey yo, my pool, and it goes to friends, Johnny5 alive here, and I am joined with Zelixor! Hey yo! And welcome to Park Spotlight Episode 400! Wow! <laughs> we freaking made it. Yep. Now, normally, we try to feature one of our legend builders of the community, give them a little bit of a, a special moment. We're doing something different today. We are featuring Hardy's Hope, created by Chase, one of our Discord beginner builders. Wow. Yep. <laughs> and here they say. Arg! Hello, Johnny Chow 5 and hopefully Zell. Welcome <laughs> to Hope. Hardy's Hope. This creation is my first park ever and my first submission to the Channel 5 gaming community. First off, I want to thank you for creating this awesome community and having a place where we as creators can spotlight our creations. It means a lot to us. Now onto the park. Hardy's Hope is a pirate park whose idea was first generated after I watched Rai Rai's Pirate Cove submission for the mini park contest and being inspired. My main goal for this park is to create a pirate park, but to do it in a very unique way. Some architecture throughout the park may be considered modern or non piratey which is true, but this is the type of feel I was going for. The park has three coasters, seven flat rides, and two main dark rides. With that being said, I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I hope you have as much fun exploring as I did making Hardy's Hope. Arrgh! All custom audio is royalty free. And there's a few tracks you downloaded. All right, wow. So we're putting a spin on it today. We are featuring a beginner builder for episode 400. A huge honor to represent one of our brand new community members in Chase, a beginner builder. And uh, we have some things to talk about there because this looks freaking amazing. But first, yep. let's get into the spotlight. This was a ship that put to sea in the name of the ship that was Billy O.T. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Welcome, <Yar>. mateys. <laughs> Argue mateys. Important notes. Please make sure the autosave is disabled. Done. Uh, when <laughs> riding Plank and Plunk, Treasures and Miss Rum, make sure custom audio is chosen. Done. These rides can be closed. Okay. Lastly, Put enjoy. In test mode. Okay. Yeah. Hardy's, Hardy's Hope. hope. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at that treasure Good chest in the back. Yep. <laughs> wow. Great compositions already. Very nice. <laughs> I like this. I like trying to shoot a scorpion with a gun. <laughs> and then just stepping on it. Oh, I like the fountain as well. I mean, you just cluttered it up like crazy. I didn't even notice That's that it was like... a fountain. I just thought it was a centerpiece. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's quite nice. <laughs> Super cool. Great shanty like builds. The... Yep. The fencing oh, everywhere on the walls as here. well. There he is. And uh, the anchor in the middle, the path really nice. It's gonna be great at night as well. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Basic yeah. shape art. Woo! Wow, freaking wee. One of the most stunning yeah. park entrances oh, to a fire park and a map. Wow. Good. Where do we go first? You wanna go to the plank and plunk? Main area rides? Plank and plunk? Yeah, so we go to the right. Let's go oh. plank and plunk. Love all the uh, nature work. And look at this. Custom supports all the yep. way up. You can tell right away just looking at it. That's freaking amazing. Mm -hmm. Great job. Looks it is like uh, it's going to be a fun coaster. Pain in the arse making custom supports <laughs> for a wooden coaster. R it is. Plank and plunk. We gotta kick things off with a bang. It did say there was what three coasters, so maybe we wanna try to space them out a little bit. There are also two mm -hmm. dark rides, or did he say yeah, three coasters, seven flat yeah. rides, two dark rides. So we have five main rides overall, but the uh, ride skins look freaking awesome too, just based off um, a few screenshots. I mean there's one right there. Well yep. told ya. Really good. Yeah, so it said that there's like a bit nice of a, a, moder a modern twist added to these builds where it's like, you know, pirate elevated. And I, I like that because we were talking about this with, I think, one of Rai Rai's creations or just how he does something so unique. And I told everyone not to forget about pirate, be inspired mm -hmm. and try different things with pirate. 
It's exactly yep. what Chase is doing here today. Trying, taking Pirate and elevating it. Trying something new, yep. and that is awesome. Is this one have a custom track? Yeah, yep. it should. Plank and Plunk should have a custom track. Which one? Uh, Plank and Plunk. All right, it's in there now, but are we going to get a refresh? We did? Yep. Let's close the right again. Plank and Plunk, let's go. Here we go. Our ladies turn back. as well it's episode 400 let's give it a ride yep. at night i was just thinking the same where are we going we're going uh look for oh you know what this is created by chase why don't we do a chase <laughs> <laughs> Nighttime lighting is freaking gorgeous. You got that yeah. ghostly, um, spooky teal color in there. I didn't look at the results there. You want, there they are if you want to see them. Three airtime counts, 2.5 seconds of airtime. 65 yeah, I really miles like an this hour. Coaster. It's amazing. Good way to start off the park. Look at that. Right. Look at the park's nighttime lighting. Yeah. Holy good googly moogly. All right. But I don't know. I'm gonna leave that running. Get some back. You, you nice want, music the, as well. Yeah. The one thing you're missing in this park, in my opinion, is the ambient speakers. Um, I think there was some ambient sounds. No? Some in some areas, but not all. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna leave the rides going. We have a drop tower that looks particularly oh, it says interesting. Road to something. Road to C3. Amazing. Yep. Should probably be switching this back to day. And uh, I like that you put a sign there for us so we know what the best perspective yeah. is. More people need to do that. Yeah. I was wondering where you got guessing. that information. <laughs> I thought you were looking at the form. I didn't even see no. the sign. Why were two? Yeah, path works really nice. All this detailing, yep. railings, custom, custom, custom. Okay, what do we have here? The um, crusty crab. Uh, we're going through the exit. Where's the entrance? Not here. The one thing <laughs> that RCT had was these signs that say no entry. I think somebody uh, needs to make custom no entry signs and use them. So we just know like. Hey, we shouldn't go this way. But the nice thing about RCT, the guests wouldn't actually walk down there if you had the. No it would, it would, you know, they would only do yeah, one way. Them. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which was really cool. Wow. I like this sandy I love hill the here. ship there as well, yeah. It's really... It's a really cool looking shop skin. And it has a tail. Oh, it's a whale. It's a fish. Oh! We gotta get a closer look at that. That's cool. Arr. Arr. <laughs> Arr. All right, pirate plunge. Pirate plunge. I would love to go here. And plunge some pirates. <laughs> no, no, just the park. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, wow, look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, all. Oh. Wow. These are not easy to skin. I can't click it. It's like the right uh, guy. Ah. I did not yeah. learn something new. I don't know if there was a sign, but... There was a sign for what? No, I don't know if there was a sign where we need to sit, but I guess it's all quite similar. Great interior design. Mm -hmm. I like the windows. Yeah, what's this one look like at night? Subtle. Uh, you get so much light from the park, right? Mm -hmm. It's the best view. Yeah. yeah, the one thing that's the downside to going on this, you have a long queue, you get up there, and then you <laughs> gotta go out the exit back to where you came from. So I don't know how that navigation might drive some people crazy. <laughs> Prepare to use your legs when you come here. Get to go again. Yeah, if you want to go, like on, that, if you wanna go on that ride support. again, that's a bit of an issue. Yeah. Look at that. The flying fish, that's what's cool. That's insane. Looks really good. <laughs> I love that tail. Oh, <laughs> it's really nice. Wow, good the, uh, googly moogly. Waterfall here is good. Chase. Aw. <laughs> The flying fish. Going on up. The foliage uh, work is fun. Yeah, right? and all. Also the terrain work, like, just, uh... Yeah, the cliff poking out here with the waterfall. Passing Tough under it. being held up. Mm-hmm. With here, all the stake walls, roots coming out. God, that's great. Look at that. So much fun, another pirate park. And, you know, I was looking through the submissions for stuff to record, and I don't know, I got like five pirate things show up. Yeah, and Zell... I don't know why, but it's just a pirate, pirate week. Zell, Zell sent me this, and I said, yep, that's episode 400. Yeah. I didn't even look at the rest, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> I said, I'm this sorry. is it. Wow, look how this nicely is this is integrated. You even put a right? gradient on this. That's crazy. Wow. Just for that, like, fish belly color. Holy crap. <laughs> That's really good. Good music. That's sick. Yeah. Look at the integration here. All right. <laughs> I love that tail so much. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. All right, let's go down yeah. the exit. Is this the exit? Okay. That's the exit. Let's yeah. see where this takes us. Like, the, the queues and the exits are uh, pretty extreme for what we're going to. Why is there an exit to the exit? Oh, no, it's another right. Oh, another the exit, right exit, exit of another... Oh, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So cool, everything's overgrown. But we're still following one path, so it's not confusing. It's not so too bad. Really yeah. nice, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look to your right. 
Oh my god. Oh. I'm being weird. <laughs> Look. That treasure chest is immaculate. Look at the support structure wow. on this. With the skull down it looks below. so good. Got a river That's rep that's coming up. What is this? It's like an elephant or something. Yeah. This is a really cool building. Right? Or like support structure. It's a different vibe as well here. Look at that. It's so cool. Is that supposed to be like a genie or something? No, I don't I don't know. Maybe a tentifu. Tentifu. Wow, <laughs> look at the rail work. Yep. A lot of patience and detail gone into all of this stuff. More custom supports. Oh, wow. What is Statues. that? That looks like um, a banshee or something, you know? Well, it's a coaster going through it. All right. Through the mouth of the banshee. Custom lampposts everywhere, too. How many sure. pieces are these? Five? But, hey, it makes the difference. Yep. And just making these little things, these it. pieces, and then you use them everywhere and duplicate them, but it makes the a world of difference. Yeah, it gives so much character to everything. There Treasures. Now we're going Dead down. Treasure chest. Go all the way up so you can go down. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? The treasure chest is on the workshop, guys, if you want it. Yeah, a lot so, of the uh, blueprints gone into this park are really high detailed builds that are uploaded separately and we'll talk about this at the end mm. i have a something i want to say about the the padding of the workshop in um in, in an important way Please okay let's chill all hands legs and eye patches inside the vehicles at all times and <laughs> enjoy hey pirates yeah you follow me i need some help yeah this way come on Oh, watch out! That was close. Don't want him getting a hold of you. Anyways, let's take a left up here and head under the bridge. We made it to Pirate Lane. I used to hang out here all the time. The town is surprisingly in good shape considering the recent attacks. Oh look, it's Captain Lockjaw. We need to help him find his treasure before the others do. Take a left up here, guys. Take a left. Guys, that isn't left. Oh no. Yeah, this does not seem right. Ugh, he's so slimy. How did that even happen? Looks like they've captured some of the pirates too. This is not good. What's that up ahead? Oh, it looks like the skeleton's got a hold of Lockjaw's treasure map. We need to get there before they do. First stop, Forgotten Caves. expect this big of a battle. Since when could skeletons fly? Look out for crossfire. Looks like a waterfall's up ahead. It could lead to a secret passage. Let's head in. This was the right way. Forgotten caves. Oh. 
good for those skeletons. Oh, they're really not looking good. I think I remember this. Quick guys, up this way. Treasure room. the snakes from the map. That means the treasure room should be... Yes, it's right here. There is so much gold. We're gonna be rich forever. Thanks so much for helping Captain Lockjaw and I. See you next time. Wow. That was amazing. That was really amazing and uh, unexpected, too. Like, yep. I didn't... We hadn't... Like, we, we seen a little bit of custom audio on some of the other rides and, and things, but this... There wasn't enough. Maybe if we'd ridden some of the other rides and seen similarities to this, we would have expected that. But this was like this really went above the bar that I was setting for a water ride. Um, mm -hmm. The narration was really good. It actually felt it felt like uh, they were sitting beside us and yeah. talking to us, and like those little subtle things, like "Look there, Captain Lockjaw," and I was like, "Where?" And I looked around and fought, saw him. Yeah, uh, and this place as well. I loved it with the rain. Yeah, vibe. Um, and then just like the views and the lighting. And uh, what I also really liked is setting the, the tale that like the skeletons have come to life and they're a threat to the pirates. This is something that they have to deal mm. with on a daily basis, you know, and you got the, the villains and the heroes. Then I it made me feel really immersed. The only yep. one thing of suggestion or feedback that I would have for you is here when she says turn left. There's nothing here. <laughs> I, I would have made... <laughs> I would have made a hole and you can even take the river rapids and scoot it that way you know dark in this area so we, it looks like we you know we actually took a wrong turn and mm -hmm. and you know just kind of juke it a little bit that's like the only thing that bothered me that's it yeah. small gripe everything else is just phenomenal yep. so yeah i mean great job doing the narration and uh um, yeah i, that I really didn't big, expect this <laughs> no i didn't yeah. expect this at all and uh, i mean this and might end up being the best ride in the park yeah, there's just so much gone into it. And one of the best, yeah. if not the best, pirate dark ride I've ever seen. But I think that might set set it set it up for the best d pirate dark ride of the year. I mean, well, wow, you get my yeah. vote. Have you seen it's, a better uh, one off the top of your head? I no, can't think of one. This this year, no, I was thinking of. Or no. even last year at, at all. I don't know. I mean, I'm, last year there was uh, in um, I don't know if it, well, yeah it was pirate in uh, Dragon Kingdom, in the you remember the well, same coaster. Or a ride, a water ride, but uh, it's... It was uh, a while ago. I'd have to go back and look. Yeah. Wow, really yeah, good job. It's, uh, it's up there, that's for sure. Yeah. Chase setting the bar high for a pirate. I love stuff. this uh, Rai Rai's got a little bit of competition. You guys might have to work together on a collab. Yeah, you should do that. That's fun. If Rai Rai still wants to build pirate. Oh, I love this bridge. Mm-hmm. Hey, Perda. Perda, Perda, Perda. Is it a custom roof? I see. It bottoms up. Yeah, look at that. Wow. wow. That is perfectly symmetrical. Super cool roof. Look how many pieces that is. 2,000. <laughs> it's just a ship hole. And not even just like randomizing the colors. Just no. switching up the variation just to make it 
even more realistic. Oh, it's a tavern. Mmm. So cool. Wow, I love this. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Hockeys. Oh, <laughs> How go says? Was was there anything on the right? Well, there, there, there's a ride here, so save our souls. Ooh. It's uh, it's a bottle. Oh my god! Super nice. Oh, Wait, are, are the bottle? ships coming from the bottle? <gasps> oh. Wow, look at that coast. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I, I want to go inside the bottle. Does this take us to the bottle? I think so. People love this ride. Right? <laughs> That's going to be fun. Wow. Nice boarding station. This is awesome. The ship's really coming cool. from the bottle is literally yeah. genius. Yeah. Two, 200 <laughs> IQ move right there. Big brain. <laughs> Big brain. <laughs> this is insane. Wow, and it's like all oh, overgrown all and stuff. Well. Yeah, yeah. Right? Wowzers. I think we got to pay tribute to this ride. Um, give it a go. Yeah, for sure. We got one pulling in. Take us around the park. Let's chill do out. It. <laughs> oh, nice. We got a sea shanty while we're on there. Okay, how do you even ride these things, though? I do the front bumper. Front bumper. Yeah. Okay. This is so great. What an yeah. awesome concept. <laughs> What's that in the sky there? I don't know. Maybe some Easter egg. This is just gorgeous. Even the little lily pads, overhanging stuff. Love the, They're boarding uh, the ship. I didn't even know that. I realized that. Did we go on, uh, up that pathway? No. Yeah. And look at the custom supports on the lo uh, the river rapids, or sorry, the boat ride. Mm -hmm. It's a subtle little things that you don't really appreciate or notice right away. It makes a difference. That's really good. Yep, it does. This is a really insane pirate build. Yeah, some people got some uh, competition. Yeah. That's for sure. Good chase here. And Rai Rai hasn't made a pirate park for 2021 yet. Mm, uh, he's building. I talked to him. That's a long Is it a pirate park, though? I don't know. Uh, exactly no. Hopefully this inspires this... some people. I want to see a little bit of friendly competition for who's taking the pirate yeah. park of 2021. Look at those waves. This is insane. It's a fun idea to do waves. With and the uh, ice cream scoops. Shark. Yeah. Wow. This is crazy. It's not a transport ride. It's a... Um, it's a, what do you call Scenery. it? <laughs> yeah, the gentle it's ride. A, a tour. Penguin. Would have been nice if you could have wrapped it around back a different way, but I don't know what it looks like from a top down, if that's even possible. Yeah, maybe not. I don't even mind it. No, it's true, but... Whatever's down this way, would we would we have been able to come down this way? Maybe not. Just not. No. The bottle, the ship in a bottle, is the, the most genius idea ever. Yeah. I mean, there was the uh, ship in the bottle submission yeah, but, by yeah. Costa. I think it was just so it was scenery. Was Costa, right? Yeah, yeah, the Costa was inside the bottle. Yeah, but this so is a literal a, ship it, but this coming is, yeah. from a bottle. It's yeah, yeah. like you could put a pirate, a swinging pirate ship flat ride in a bottle, but it still doesn't have the same effect as seeing the bottles go no, in and course. out. Yeah. And like the queue and the boarding station, people are waiting to leave the bottle. It's it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. it's really well. And this area of the park is really interesting too, with all the stalagmites and hmm. bones. 
It has a different feel than everything else. What is this? The sign. Oh, yeah, yeah, the SOS. Amazing. Yep. One of my favorite boat rides I've seen as well. <laughs> Great. Right, so many where's, people. Where's this scooting us it's out It's funny to? that they love that they love these rides, you know? Right? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, there's there's something tides. crazy going on up there. Yep. What I wanted to peek at was this boarding mm -hmm. of the ship. Oh, it's just a bridge. Oh. Let's cross it. Yeah, we look at that shark. Yeah, it closed up the back quite nicely, too. At, but you added some uh, custom or like basic shapes to give on the on the head. Yeah, yeah. To That's close what I said, it closed off, off the back. Know? Yeah, look at that. Like faking waves. Yep. So <laughs> cool. And just chewing through the ship. Wow. And also the ship is completely. And you're. Um... Your directional forces, like your eyes leading you down, but right, like pinching in on this centerpiece. Mm -hmm. It's really smart design. This being at the top of the hill is another centerpiece. When you come into the park, you see the treasure chest. All you're using these elements, whatever this is, it's being your eyes are directed to it because of the coaster there. Everything mm -hmm. has amazing vista points and directional forces leading your eye to said vista points. And um, it's really brilliant level design. Yep. <laughs> this is a great whirly rig. What's it called? Six Seas. Is this supposed to be like a keg or a, a jar or something? Maybe, yeah. Look at that. Like, even, you know, respecting the whirly rig and making a whole Chip. decorative <laughs> skin for it. Like, this... It's actually probably worth a ride for once in our lives. <laughs> My favorite ride that I've never ridden. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. So much fun. The view is just astonishing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so funny. I love it. Yep. Hey, let's make our way back to uh, whatever that is up there. Stuff only. Aurora. Ooh. I'm assuming that's the exit. Let's uh, enter in at night. Yeah. I just love that everywhere is overgrown. Do you think overgrown. that boat ride counted as the other um, dark ride? Or do we have another? No, I think there's another. Okay, so there was technically, well, maybe he said three coasters I mean, it wasn't a dark and ride. two dark rides. Yeah, but it wasn't. It, was it a wasn't a dark ride. ride, but that's when I, I I get that. Yeah. Okay, like that. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. there's technic, it would be like two dark dark rides and a ride. So yeah. Okay. Do we close her down? I feel bad for these people. They're so excited. Yeah. Let's, let's go on with the people. Okay. These are, uh, we what Giga do we have Rage. here? Giga Rage. There's the results. Whoa, 1,300 meters of track length. Oh, wow. 80 miles per hour. Four airtime counts. 7.4 seconds of airtime. Good nice. googly moogly. Let's fast forward it and cut to it when it's ready. Uh, wow, it's a minute and 44 seconds. I think what I want to do for this is ride the back looking forward because the guests and all that. Mm -hmm. Let's try that out. Why don't we also do a track view a day after this?
incredible. Yep. I want to see this a day, and I want to see I, uh, some track view. Same. That's front bumper, right? Track view? Yep. Mm -hmm. I love how you can literally feel the airtime on that coaster. Yeah. It's a beautiful <laughs> coaster. Wow. Amazing stuff. I think stuff. I spotted uh, the next dark ride as well. I want well. to know what the heck this is. What the heck? <laughs> King Ghost. It's a ghost watching and everything. Oh, that's one thing I wanted to point out on the dark ride. You did this with Captain Lockjaw in the treasure room. And that's mm -hmm. one thing I want to see more of. And people, you know, utilizing yeah. the ability to Be strand a mascot to add like uh, basically like a... An, a fake animatronic, you know? Yeah, but the only issue is, like, if you go too long in the park, they become sad. Yeah, you just gotta place them before you save your park. Yeah, park. yeah. Now, how the heck do we get yeah. up there? Uh, must be to the left. No, not there. Wait, did we look at that village? Can we have a look there? We didn't even see that. Look at that. It's just, uh, it's the oh, guest It looks camp. great. Okay, maybe a little bit of poop, but, you know. <laughs> Um, because there's rides up here. We found it. Ah, uh, the salty caves. Perfect. <laughs> that was right was here. Like next to it. Wow, how did we miss that? Well, it is kind of small. I think you need to make a bigger sign or something, or in an arrow, or I don't know. We definitely missed it. Wow, looks good. Nighttime, please. Nighttime. There we go. I like you uh, directing the experience a little bit, even though you're not here. You're you feel like you are. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, a lot of more people should do that. Miss Rum. Oh, ah, this is the next some... dark ride. It has to be because I there was a that? custom audio for that. Yeah. Ooh, we were talking sorry. about custom audio, and it's always so tricky, right? And like, okay, let's try. I, ho it. I hope we didn't get a claim, but I'm trusting yeah, Chase but today. I'm kind of happy that you know the custom audio made a difference here. Yeah, the Huntsman. All right, sit back and enjoy another dark yep. night. Hey, can you help me? 
I need something from down below at the bottom of the ship. Come on, I'll head down with you. I was hoping to find some rum in the kitchen. You know, the good stuff. Let's head down. I actually didn't know we were in the heart of a battle. Get on, mateys. Well, it looks like some are a bit tired. Night, night, pirate boys. The library? I don't even think half of us pirates can read, but oh well. The next room should be where the rum is. Let's head on in. Ah, there she is! At the top there! Oh, did you think I was talking about the drink rum? No, I meant Miss Rum. I have to meet her. Um, well, there is quite a bit of a height difference between Miss Rum and I. Oh well, we'll figure it out. See ya! <laughs> it's a little bit cheesy, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it was so funny. I was oh, laughing so hard. Yeah. <laughs> it was quite comical. Yeah. And it's another one that threw me for a spin because like I went I went in with the um like after the last dark ride and the way you built it up here, I thought we were doing yeah, something really terrifying and then it kind of took a twist and it was kind of like a comedy show. And yeah. uh, for me it was at least. I I felt it yeah. kind of funny. Yeah, it was it was, it was just a pleasant surprise cuz you know, I I was expecting a dark spooky ride, but you took a spin on it and i like that and you had a, mm -hmm. again amazing scenes and fun storytelling really great stuff yep. this is amazing i'm having so much fun with this one great choice right? for episode 400 thanks to zell you pulled this one out of the hat where, where are we where are we uh, uh, uh that's an exit it's gotta be yeah let's just go on this one the spinning matey spinning mate. yeah this is just so cool and um I, w I want to harken back to the um, submission form where they said that they were inspired by Rai Rai's pirate mini park that Rai Rai pumped out in like three days. <laughs> yeah. And did an absolutely amazing job with it. And you have you have like one of... what Do you know what rank Rai Rai's at? Probably expert or master. Uh, or something. Expert... Where's he master now? Let me have a look. Uh, but anyways, um, no matter what their rank is, Rai Rai is a really good builder in this community. He's a and, monster now, yeah. Mm -hmm. So right. you have a, a, a beginner builder being inspired by one of our master builders and showcasing quality of work, you know, like almost studying what Rai Rai has done and then taking their own spin on it. This isn't a copy paste. This isn't a, you know, there's no, it's nothing stolen. It's all inspired by with their own flair. Mm -hmm. And you could see that. It, um, it's just a really good way to show that you're taking something that you're inspired by and then elevating it with your own twist and doing it at the quality that would make Rai Rai proud, a master builder. <laughs> this is masterful stuff right here, 100%. Yep. You know, that's just so crazy because this builder, Chase, has never submitted anything, has never created anything. You could see on their workshop, their very first creation ever is a blueprint for this park. This yeah. is the first thing they've ever made in Planet Coaster, and all of the stuff on their workshop goes into this one experience. And it just goes to show that watching the show, paying attention to what other people are doing, studying what they can do, that you can just be a master builder right out of the gate. Yeah. <laughs> if you just take your time nuts. and learn and pay close attention to what other people are doing and the feedback and suggestions that we give here on the show, you can see the notes have been taken. This is insane. This, cave. this is one of the coolest caves I've ever seen. Yeah. And this is a go-kart. It's a go-kart. Of all things, I did not... That, is that another, a bone a, Another unexpected um, yeah. surprise. It's crazy. 
you wouldn't think go-karts in a pirate park, but that's that modern element that they were talking about. You know, the glass windows and this and that, adding in go-karts, mm. not keeping everything super Caribbean, but adding that, you know, that, that vibe, that extra layer of um, modernness. Yep. With, with the go karts, look at this. This is crazy. Um, I'm not gonna. So I'm not gonna bollard these. These are the grog racers. No, just, I'm, uh... I'm just gonna sit back and watch somebody race. Yeah, let's just chill. Let's just look yeah, around. Course. Love the lighting in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those lanterns there uh, in the the net. They're great. I just love the light they give up. It's really quite crazy sneaking a go-kart in here. I didn't expect <laughs> that at all. It's super cool. Yeah. Uh, I love the weird shape of that boarding station. It's just... Mm -hmm. A bit creepy and still piratey. And, Ominous, yeah. yeah. Don't drive off the edge. You might need a little no. more railings well. <laughs> there. <laughs> yeah, this is really uh, amazing. Amazing stuff. Wow. Wow, freaking we. Now, we went on the wooden coaster, the giga coaster. Wasn't there a third coaster? Or did, am I? Yeah, there was. Did we? Um, there's one in the back there. Oh, right, 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 right. So when I did that jump cut, we keep going through here. Yeah. It was hard to see at night. So yeah, we, we continue down this path. Yeah. And we get to the very back. And that's the Pirate's Journey coaster. Look at the views Look from at up that here. that shot. Yeah. This is just stunning. Uh, All right. Well, so this will be... Doing this for 400. Mm-hmm. It turned out to be a great pick. And yeah. I, I, I was like, we were going to just sit down and talk about what we're going to do for 400. But Zal showed me this and I was like, yep, that's the one. Don't even need to look. So um, here we go. We have a, a Junior Dragon. What are the stats? Oh. 54 miles per hour, 625 meters in length. It's not, maybe not so Junior Dragon. No. I'm, I'm down. I want someone dragon. I want someone to make me like a 2,000 meter Giga Dragon. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> yes, it would be. Yeah. I mean, cannot do too... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's more like exploration, but... Yeah. Sure. yeah, it would not be a, a children friendly, but let's go. <laughs> like a 400 meter drop. It's episode 400. I think we're gonna have to do this one at night as well. The nighttime lighting in this park is uh, impeccable. So yeah. we'll, we'll give this another ride at night. Oh, now we're going through that, uh, what do you call the bench? whole town that we were looking at before that was there for the theming of this coaster yeah and, uh, you'll notice take a look maybe you won't see it at nighttime i'll also do this in track view um there's like boarding across the beach the track kind of touches yeah, down right. and it goes was... yeah it's nice yeah, little detail so, so cool nice. all right let's do this
What, what I love about this layout is that while it's just a simple loop, it, mm. it, it navigates that terrain so nicely and the coaster might not be like the most extreme, but it still has fear factors. And yeah. the most scary part of all is the height. You know, um, yeah. like if you were looking down at all this, that'd be quite, you know, if you got vertigo, this coaster is going to scare the crap out of you, even though yeah. it doesn't have the most intense G forces or drops. It does go pretty fast for a, a family coaster, 54 miles yeah. per hour. It, it's going to give the kids a scare. But at the same time, you know, it's such a casual, fun layout that has just such a remarkable theming going through the village like that. And it's just really well done. I love it. Mm -hmm. Three yeah, solid coasters, same. two amazing dark rides, a floating ghost. I mean, this park has it all um the, the ride yeah. skins are just impeccable like even just down to the whirly break um the tavern you know you have one main eatery for your whole park and it's just really well done you paid tribute one of the i mean the best boat ride i've ever seen with the ship in the bottle some genius stuff gone into this um i yeah. love the mo you, you said like you went with this modern twist you wanted to try something and you know it might not be traditional yet you don't even have to make an excuse for what you did because what you did no. is so good that you know it it, it it has confidence in itself yeah. that, you know, you don't even need to explain it to me that um, what you did here was a remarkable twist, making yeah. a revolutionary pirate experience modernized. You know what I also like now that I see it? The whole time that we were in the park, I couldn't see anything outside of the park. Yeah. Like, you know, the, we were immersed. the outside of the park. We were immersed. Nothing but and, vistas and directional right? forces and, and, and arches. And the scenes in the dark rides were absolutely amazing. And that's, I don't know what you do for a living, but you have an eye for this kind of mm -hmm. stuff. I mean, and right? you, could, you also build this stuff up watching as well, you know? Um, seeing what other people do, mm -hmm. and you start to get, like, your brain will pick up on this stuff. Like, you know, if, if you just watch someone draw for hours and hours and hours, and then you pick up a pencil, you'll be better at drawing than you last were. You know, mm -hmm. your brain just picks up on these subtle little things, and you can definitely see a lot of inspiration from previous really well done, masterful pirate parks in here. But then you're taking your own spin on it, like I said before. And as to know what you said there with the immersion of everything, it didn't look like the biggest park when you compare it to the no. actual park size. But then you go into these dark rides that just go deeper and deeper and deeper. There's all this like kind of storytelling yeah. and you know, caves and caverns and, you know, trying to find this upper back area. It has a lot of depth to it. And and it's not like, it's the perfect size in my opinion. Like uh, this has got to be an hour long episode, I would imagine. Yeah, it's sure. running beautifully. So there's no frame hitches. There's guests in the park. Like this is kind of the size that you want to aim for. And it's definitely yeah. not a mini park either. If you look at our mini park that he was inspired by was this size. Rai Rai's park was mm -hmm. this size. So it, it's at least three or four of these. And if, you know, this is a 60 by 60, it's still much larger than that, but there's no uh, need to go here because uh, that was just a great experience and it ran well beautifully done absolutely yeah, beautifully sure. done um amazing stuff i'm so glad to be able to re represent a beginner builder for episode 400 we've been doing this for four years 400 episodes and it <laughs> still blows me away every time i open up a park and sit down to record what you guys are capable of and it right. never gets boring you guys just keep no. pushing the envelope and you know i'm just excited for another 100 park spotlights to come it's gonna be a great 2021 and Chase is setting the bar high, kicking things off with episode 400. We've only done a few handful of parks this year, and um, this this is a, a milestone. This is a benchmark. And yeah. Glad to uh, have Chase, a beginner builder, representing it. But with that said, I want to point something out here. If Chase put this on his park, uh, on his workshop as park this would be the only thing that they created but they uploaded this to their workshop they uploaded this to their workshop they uploaded this to their workshop you can download and place Bottle. these individual things into your parks and they've padded their workshop with amazing masterful quality builds and we you know we usually judge on things on quantity and quality and mm -hmm. by dividing things up, you did a smart thing because now we can look at your whole build, your whole workshop and say, you've done this, you've done that, you've done this, and everything is looking superb. So I, we don't really do this, but we're gonna do it today. It is episode 400 <laughs> after all, it is a monumental day. So Chase, we are promoting you to Builder, to Advance, and Zelixor. To Expert. To Expert! <laughs> In one go from beginner to Boom. expert. So today's creation was brought to you by one of our Discord expert builders, Chase. <laughs> Chase, congratulations, well deserved.
Amazing stuff. Can't wait yeah. to see what you do on your way to legend. Because you got sure. you got what it takes, my friend. Boom. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Hardy's Hope by Chase, episode 400. Thank you guys for supporting the show, following, and checking out all our videos and uh, riding with us on 400 park spotlights. Here's to 100 more. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to Zelixfor for joining in. Uh, you're welcome. It's always fun. And finding this park as well. And that is going to do it for us in today's episode. We will see you all in episode 401. Bye now. Bye now.